Rajasthan has always been reckoned for its art, heritage and culture on the global map. How can we forget the contribution of Rajasthan in the world of jewelry? Kundan Meena, also known as Bikaneri or Jaipuri jewelry, is popular variation in Kundan, where an enameling with vivid colors and design is on the rivers, while the Kundan setting in the front. The city of Jaipur in Rajasthan has traditionally been the center for Kundan jewelry in India. Kundan jewelry received great patronage during the Mughal era. Even today, it remains an integral part of traditional wedding trousseau for a bride. Kundan Meena jewelry contributes a huge share of both value and volume market in Indian jewelry market. This flawless piece of exquisite art includes four stages of excellent and concentrated handicraft. The first process is ghlai or ewer. In this process, the raw material is melt and then converted in a small solid form which is passed through a manually operated machine to make a flat sheet out of it. Subsequent to that, desired shape is given to the gold sheet by bending and stretching through hand and twizzlers. The gold sheet is soldered with side walls by giving heat to it with some old traditional methods of blowing fire by a blended pipe from the lighter. Then wax or lac is placed in the product and it's grinded for smooth boundaries. After grinding, the wax is taken out by heating, which turns the gold black. Then the product is washed in dilute acid to remove the black color. The process is here finished to transit it to the second process. Khudai or engraving is the second process of Kundan Meena. First the design is made on the ornament with a lead pencil and then the engraving is performed on the ornament. It is a very precise and intense process which requires a lot of patience and concentration. A pendant usually takes two to three days in the process of engraving. This brings us to the third stage of the art and the most beautiful one, Meenakari or enameling. Meenakari or enameling is the art of decorating a metal surface by fusing glass, that is enamel substances on it. Meenakari is a Persian art and was introduced in India by the Mughals. Raja Man Singh of Amir brought master enamelers from Iran to Jaipur in the 16th century. Jaipur is now the center of Meenakari art. Nath Dwara, Bikanir, and Jaipur are the main places in India where Meenakari is practiced. Rajasthani Meenakari is an elaborate process. It is done on 23 karat gold. The purer the gold, the richer the color, goes an old saying. Delicate designs of flowers, birds, fish, etc. are etched or engraved on it. Once the design is engraved on the ornament, the minakar or the enameler applies colors on it, beginning with those most capable of resisting fire. White is normally applied first, followed by other colors. The enamel dust or powder of different colored glasses is filled in the cavities. Minakar is generally done on the river side of Kundan. Then the ornament is placed in a red-hot furnace and the enamel is melt and diffused proportionately into the cavities. The time required for heating depends on the size of the ornament. The heat of the furnace is set between 750 to 850 degrees Celsius, which melts the color and the color spreads equally into the groove. As a rule, white is the first color applied and red is the last one. Each color has to be fired individually. Due to the heat of the furnace, the ornament gets black in color, hence to remove the blackness, it is boiled in dilute acid which gives the original gold color. This is followed by the Rita wash, a conditioner to remove dust particles and oil from the ornament. Sometimes it takes months to finish one piece of jewelry. It requires penetrating eyes, full attention and patience. In case some pores are left out, they are filled in with the Meena again. Subsequently, the design is made using a paintbrush and the enamel. This requires perfection as one wrong move could spoil the design. First of all, the outlines are designed and then the desired color is filled in the design. 
The hard work is undoubtedly a visual delight. Each time Mina is applied, it is required to be heated in the furnace to melt the color. This brings us to the last and the exquisite stage of Kundan Jarai. Jarao jewelry is one of the most oldest forms of jewelry practiced in India. Jarao jewelry is also the only jewelry which is totally handmade and handcrafted. First of all, Multani Mitti or Fuller's Earth is applied on the ornament to protect the Meena work from getting damaged during lac or wax filling. The Fuller's Earth is dried with help of coals. Then the lac or wax is filled in the hollow cavities of the ornament. Lac is used to fix the diamonds called polki on the ornament. Lac is heated to the temperature till it comes in semi-liquid form, then poured into the base, thus now lac is left to set in the base when it cools down. Since it is a form of wax, it is lightweight. Different precious stones which can be incorporated in Kundan jewelry comprise of ruby, emerald, spinel, uncut diamonds, sapphires, etc. The ornament is placed on a wooden base called hundi, which is used to fix the ornament with the help of wax on its reverse side. Now the diamonds, also known as polkis, which are to be set in the jewelry, are being selected respectively. Subsequently, the polkis are fixed with silver foil behind them, as the diamonds used in the Jarao jewelry are flat, uncut diamonds. The silver foil being fixed behind diamond is known as dank in Hindi. The dank gives the diamond an extra sheer and shine, which complements the jewelry when it is ready. Then kundan, the 24 karat gold sheets, are applied on the ornaments to make walls to set the diamond pole keys. The kundan should not be touched with bare hands as it could damage and you need to be very careful. Then the pole key, or diamond is placed and again kundan is filled around the polki and is twisted nicely. After kundan being fully inserted into sides, now the turn comes of making the kundan look neat by scraping it from sides, known as chilai in Hindi. The scraping can be simple like plain borders or also can be very integrated with motifs of flowers and birds on it. Chilai needs to be very careful as carelessness could break the diamond or damage the mina. This is the final kundan setting. The last process is puvai or beading of stones with the ornament, giving us the exquisite kundan mina jewelry, ready to wear. Similarly, kundan is done on various ornaments with the same process. The intensive labor skill and time, as well as the costs of the precious raw materials, ensure that the items are very expensive and exquisite and are purchased for very special occasions. The enamelers of Jaipur designs the best pendants, necklaces, anklets, nut, bajuband, and even spoons, knives, keychains, and cufflinks. This brings us to the end of this beautiful journey of Kundan Mina and the intense process involved in it. It is definitely a magic of creation.